YouTube. It's Christopher. Oh, baby. I got a really awesome one for you today. This is a Jackson Pro Plus Series Dinky DKA. It's a dinky guitar because it's a bolt-on. This thing is stupid. It's got a Floyd Rose 1000 series bridge in it. It's got the bridge pickup is a JB from Seymour Duncan. The neck pickup is a 59 from Seymour Duncan. Five-way switch, which is bridge, outside coils, both full humbuckers, inside coils, and then the neck pickup. It's got an ebony fretboard which has a 12 to 16 inch compound radius. It's got offset dot uh, inlays. It's got stainless steel frets. It has luminlay side dots, matching headstock. It's got a five piece maple and walnut, I think. Is it walnut? Yeah, maple and walnut. So one, two, three, four, five piece neck, bolt on. It's fairly thin. It's got a nice sculpted top there. I bought this from Manchester Music Mill in Manchester, New Hampshire. Those guys always treat me well. Um, I'm sure the reason I don't have to do a setup on this is because of Manchester Music Mill, to be quite frank. Uh, I don't know how this would come out of the box if you got it shipped to you from Jackson, but I picked this up off the wall in uh, Manchester Music Mill and it's set up Ah, perfect. I don't have to touch it. And it sounds insane. Let's go through the tones real quick. This is probably quickly going to become my favorite guitar. Um, it's got the 1000 series tremolo, which has the, the screw-on arm, which I'm not a huge fan of, uh, but it'll do. It, it does just fine. Um, <clears throat> I'm probably going to upgrade this bridge because I really do like this guitar. I know I've only had it for a little today. Um, so, of course, honeymoon phase and all that. But I don't see why I would fall out of love with this thing because the neck is insane and the tones are incredible. The only thing I want to do really is I want to put a 1984 Floyd Rose on here. And some people might question that. Um, but I'm here to tell you there's a massive difference between a thousand series and an original um the quality level of how it's put together is just superb in comparison um i want to say that these are bent steel these bridges so to get that form of that bridge to get, get that ugh, to get the plate to bend to come up for the fine tuners uh, that's that's a bend form on the original and the 1984. I believe they're machined, and uh, the way that you can tell is to look at the bends on a thousand series and on the special. There's pinch points. You can see the metal flanges out because it's just bent steel. So when you bend it, <clears throat> it's stretching the inside or the outside, and it's compressing the inside, which that steel has nowhere to go but out. So you end up getting these little flange pinches on the on the sides and that's how you can tell if you've got an original or you've got one of the uh, uh, overseas made ones uh, the originals and the 1984s are made in Germany I'm gonna stop talking about that but that's my plan I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a 1984 in here and I'm gonna change the studs to uh, titanium that's my favorite Floyd Rose upgrade right there 1984 with titanium studs it's it's unbeatable, in my opinion. I like it even more than the Ibanez bridge, to be perfectly honest. But enough yapping. Let's hear this thing. We're going to start off on the clean channel, as usual. Here's the bridge pickup. This is my clean tone. Thank you. 
the number two position, which is the inside and, or, or I should say the outside coils of both pickups. So much spank. Fourth position, which is the inner coil of the bridge and the outer coil of the neck. position. Some sounding tones let's go put on a little bit more gain here uh, I of course I'm using my archetype Petrucci from neural DSP plug-in as my tone generator here and we're gonna go to my mutton chops channel this gives us a kind of a classic rock tone <laughs> Thank you. 
neck position. <laughs> Majestic Boom, <clears throat> my high gain channel. <laughs> position. Thank you. 
Fourth position. Jackson. What is this called again? It's the Pro, S Pro Plus Series Dinky DKA six string. This one is in cobalt blue. I think it's cobalt blue. Let me go read. Indigo blue. I'm completely wrong. It's called indigo blue and it is quite nice. I was looking at these guitars online. Uh, they're 1200 bucks, brand new. Um, I really, really had my heart set on the Oxblood, but when I saw this in person at Manchester Music Mill, the blue just like, it blew me up. I was like, oh my God, that's gorgeous. So I went for the blue. Um, and I think it's absolutely dead sexy. This thing plays incredibly well. The neck is super, super nice. I think it's like a D shape. Let's see what they call it. Oh, do they even call it anything? Sculpted Shredder's Heel. Five-piece bolt-on maple. It's got graphite reinforcement in the neck. That's good. That's awesome, actually. By the way, it's an Okume body. The body's made out of Okume wood. Uh, 25 and a half inch scale length. Um, truss rod adjustment is at the heel here, which is awesome. Uh, what else do we got? That doesn't tell me what the, uh, what the shape is back here, but it feels like a D. A flat D. Um, it's kind of wide feeling in comparison to some of my other guitars. Uh, it's reminiscent of like a uh, a Japanese Ibanez. It's got that kind of a feel to it. Oh, by the way, it's got a bound neck all the way around. Um, I did say it's got lumen lay uh, side dots. Not much else I can say except for get your hands on one of these bad boys because you will not be disappointed. This thing is stupid in a good way. Uh, again, watch out because I'm going to put a video out if I do an upgrade on this bridge. I want to put a 1984 in there. And I, I don't know if I have the heart to remove these pickups and try something else. But I kind of have a set of pickups that I really want to try in this. Um, I won't spoil it yet, but uh, I'm thinking I'm going to do that. Uh, and see if it's better. If it ain't, I'll switch it back. I have no problem doing that. Um, but watch out for that video. I'm going to do an upgrade video for this thing later on. Not that it needs it. Believe me, this thing does not need an upgrade. This 1000 series is perfectly fine as is. The thing stays in tune crazy well. Um, I have zero complaints about this guitar at all. Comes with a gig bag, by the way. It's not a super awesome gig bag. It's kind of like square-ish. And uh, the guitar kind of flops around inside, so that's another upgrade I'll probably do is I'll probably buy a Jackson Jackson hard shell case for this guy. Um, they're awesome. Put your hands on one if you can, 
and uh, experience it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. It's really good. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.